So yet, just drop the Crazy Fire album. So today I'm going to show you how you can make these crazy digital hard beats and it's going to be really easy because the hardest part is starting with a good melody and I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's get into it. So I just loaded up FL and the BPM in this type of beats ranges between 140 to 165 BPM. So let's go for 152 and let's find the fire sound. Now for these beats I really like to use either Nexus or Analog Lab. But also Serum and Vital work really well for this. And let's try to find something in these epic pads. Yeah, this sound is good because it's really simple, but it's a reading that vibe if you know what I mean. Oh, and especially because this is using a so waveform, and it works perfect in this type of beats. Let's work in G-sharp and select the Phrygian scale. I'm not going to use the minor because they use this one a lot in these beats. So let's place the root note and the fifth note of the scale. And we can take advantage of the Phrygian scale right now by going up one semitone from the root note. Ooh, that's pretty good. But I want to make it sound more interesting, so for example here we can go down. Yeah, that's good man. If you are struggling to find the main melody, just start simple like this and then we're going to make this beat more interesting with other sounds. But for now, let's just copy this over and let's try to change sound. That's good. And let's try to go here and activate this portamento so, so the pitch is going to slide. Ooh, that's crazy. You know what? These sounds are really good. We can add an EQ to remove some low end. And this really high end. I think it already has some reverb, so we're not going to add it again. But I want to try to turn this into a texture. We need to render it, so let's click Ctrl Alt C. And I like to stretch it and see how it sounds. When to stretch it, make sure to click this arrow icon. Let's stretch it even more. Okay, that's good, but I want to try to add a theme on this. Ooh, this sounds fire. But I want it to sound a bit different from the first melody, so let's add a chorus. An EQ too. Let's remove this frequencies. Let's add this pan man too, to automate the pan. Yeah. That's good. I think the main melody is a little bit of time, so let's render this too. And we can cut this attack that we have. So now we have a really simple foundation and I want to add some bass notes on this. So I'm going to use this close grand piano. If you want it, you'll need to go here. And yeah, let's just copy the bass notes that we have here. And I want to add some effects on this too. Like a chorus. Yeah, and that's it. That's good. Okay, now that we have that, I want to add something like a lead. And actually also stock plugins work really well for these beats. I like to use this poison for leads. But actually, let's see if an ARP will sound good on this. And we can just copy the main melody that we made. Already the first one. It's crazy. But they want to add a theme on this too. Let's spend this on the left. And that's a reverb. I'm going to add also this box echo chorus. Yeah, that's good. 
Let's actually clone this poison and add another sound. Oh and to find melodies I suggest you to play them with your MIDI keyboard because they're going to come easier but also you can click here and use your keyboard to play sounds. Oh this one could be interesting. It's not a lead actually it's more like a plaque. So also here we don't need to reinvent the wheel. We can just use the same notes that we already use. Okay, and let's stretch this. And we can go crazy here and stretch this again. Ooh! Let's just copy this. On this I added the stair shaper with the sterilized tree preset to make it sound more wide. And let's also reverb. Fend is on the right. Oh, and as you can see I'm paying a lot of attention to the pen because each one of them need to have its own space. In this way the sample is going to sound much more cleaner. You know what we're missing here? A lid. I really opened Analog Lab and I remember that I have a really good lid in my Phoenix bank. Yeah, I think it's going to work. When you're trying to make a catchy lead melody, I suggest you to not start with the root note. Yeah, it sounds good, but I like to start with the fifth note. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's hard. Maybe create some variation here. Yeah. It doesn't need FX too. It's good. Okay man, I really like this melody. We basically just made two melodies and it sounds good. So there is no need to go crazy on melodies. But it's important to find the right sound. So now it's time to arrange this. And I'm going to show you some tricks because they go crazy with the arrangement. So let's start with something simple. Yeah, the lead coming in. So this is the intro and this will be the hook. Yeah, let's start like this. And then introduce the lead. This is the second part of the hook. Yeah. Then we want the verse to be a little bit empty, so let's remove the texture and all the other sounds yeah and then let's set the arp okay this sounds good but it's missing something i'm back guys the camera died so i was saying that in this type of beats they add a lot something like a detroit bass so let's use this one from my nebula kit <laughs> And they usually add the pose. Oh man. Now let's make this shorter like this. Okay, let's try to pitch this up one octave. Okay, and I want to add some effects on it to make it sound better. So of course I'm going to add some chorus and some reverb. And I want to add also an EQ to remove the low end. That's crazy! Let's copy this for the second time and we can have the same thing also in the verse. It sounds insane man! So yeah, I really like this arrangement and now it's finally time for the drums. As always I'll use the drums from the Nebula, that is a crazy bundle and if you want to check it out the link is in the description. Right now all my kits are discounted so don't miss out. So as a clap they either use a snare or something hard like this one. But I'm going to try this snare. Okay, that's fire. So yeah, as you can see I kept the clap really simple because that is going to set the tempo and you want it to be simple so the artist can do his flows and whatever he wants. Now let's add the hi-hats. They use something sharp like this, so let's select finish two steps. 
I like that, but it's too robotic, so let's select finish four steps and duplicate them using shift, lowering their velocity. Okay, that's good. And let's add a single roll. Copy this over. And then click Alt R to randomize the pen and the velocity. And the pitch a bit. Okay, now let's add a head too. Let's use this one. I want to remove this first hit, so let's move this sample start knob. Just to create bounce before the clap. Oh yeah, we need to add the bell. Here we just need to follow the bass notes. Yeah, yeah. Let's add some delay on this bell. Yeah. Okay man, these drums are already sounding kinda crowded, but if you want you can add some other perks to spice it up, but I'm not going to do that, because they want to add the 808 man. So for these beats they use a lot of the CTM, this is this one, but I like to use my own version of it. This is a bit different and I like it. And the good thing about the CTM is that it sounds good in two art tapes, so we can play around with it. Yeah. Then we need to go to B. Maybe on the second part, let's go up again. Nah, it sounds bad. I want to add a kick too, though. So let's use this rack. They don't use kicks a lot in this type of piece, but I think it's going to sound crazy in our one. Yeah. Just like this. That's crazy. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, remember to drop a sub, like and comment. And check out this video if you want to make Detroit beats.